Good day, my name is Shoal. I work for company Micro Graphics and we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za. Right, so the purpose of this video is to add content to your uh, simple floor plan and uh, in using AutoCAD architecture. Right, so I've got a simple uh, floor plan over here um, and there's some roofs and stuff that's in the way. So I'll just go to the layer tool and uh, switch off. Uh, maybe the roof and the slab or the floor. Right, uh, that done. Um, I now want to. Um, I've got some spaces here. There's three of them. Um, perhaps I'll name them first. So uh, this one over here. Uh, that's one's called entrance. Uh, I guess that's fine. I'll go lounge, and uh, I'll then uh, use th uh, this one, and maybe that is called. Um, as you place these spaces, they uh, are. Uh, just generically uh, named so I'll just change this one to bathroom and maybe this guy to bedroom alright uh, bedroom if the property dialog box isn't uh, uh, visible you can always just uh, make it visible using the uh, tool over here on the left right um, so that's named um, I can now go to the um, uh, uh, I can uh, go to the uh, annotate uh, tab and perhaps just add that uh, room tag uh, to show the um, particular room's uh, name inside of the um, the uh, um, uh, uh, you know room. Okay, so just to make it uh, a little bit clearer uh, between the different uh, rooms. Okay, so there we go. Um, obviously, changing the properties will update uh, the little tag. Right now, I want to add the uh, Components now, as you can see under the design here, this is more, uh, you know, the, the the door window and that. If you look at the more specific ones, uh, there is a uh, uh, furniture, uh, fixtures and furniture uh, table uh, tab, and there's some uh, fixtures and furnitures and equipment over here. Now, if you do not uh, have the particular ones here, like in my case, beds and um, you know. Couches and that sort of thing. What you can do, you can uh, at the bottom of that uh, particular item, you can click on the more tools, and uh, it'll then start opening up a tool catalog. This tool catalog is basically uh, a, a, a catalog that contains all the components uh, installed with AutoCAD Architecture, and you can use these to um, uh, um, add it to uh, a palette or directly into your drawing. So in my case I'm going to look for maybe bedroom components and I will uh, look at a double uh, bed and I'll maybe just insert it into the drawing instead of uh, adding it to a two palette. So I'll just go into drawing and uh, um, I can um, you know just uh, for now just insert it over there uh, to be simple. Right, um, I can obviously add more if needed. Right, um, now if you want to, uh, obviously you can go back there, but you can also go and uh, uh, open up the uh, uh, tool palette under uh, co the content browser under insert, there's the content browser. As you open the, the content browser, it will then just take you to uh, the previous uh, um, area. Obviously if, uh, if you go to the home, there's all the uh, other content libraries. Um, I think uh, I was on this one. There's the uh, you know furniture. I can also go bathroom. Maybe I want a, um, a toilet, so I'll use uh, perhaps this one. I'll say insert the drawing. And as I go about doing this sort of thing, um, you basically add your components. Maybe some couches. I'll uh, go back there. Uh, I'll go to domestic furniture, sofas, um, and uh, there's a nice uh, three-seater. Uh, All right, so I'll add the three-seater over there, uh, just rotated nicely. Maybe add another one over here, etc. All right, and so you go about adding your components, and uh, if you um, uh, um, the, the more you add, obviously the better your uh, internal spaces uh, become and look uh, for presentation.
information at perhaps at a later stage. Right, thank you for watching. That concludes our video and uh, hope you uh, s see you on the next one. Bye-bye.